All right, so in this video, I would like to talk about overloading the copy assignment operator, which would allow us to copy objects. So I have this example class called vector. Um, it has as private members, a pointer to an integer, which we use to point to an array that is um, allocated dynamically on the heap and a size. And we have a constructor uh, that creates that array and initializes the size. And in a previous video, uh, we developed a uh, copy constructor uh, for this class. And we have a, uh, a destructor which is responsible for cleaning up the space to prevent uh, memory leaks. And what we're trying to do here is basically create two objects. So I have object A with 10 elements and object B with five elements. And I would like to do something like A equals B. So before doing this assignment, let's see how uh, these two objects look like in memory, right? So this is how these two objects look like in memory. Uh, I have two completely separate objects. Uh, each one has a size and a pointer that points to an array that is allocated uh, on the heap. Right, and, and these addresses are just random, you know, just for explanation. So that's what we have before copying. Now, once I do something like this, once I do A equals B, the default behavior is what we call shallow copying. And with shallow copying, what happens is that uh, uh, the values are copied uh, from one object to the other. Okay, so um, member wise copy. So um, the value that is here is copied here, and the value that is here is copied here. Okay, um, and the effect of this is that the address 500 uh, is now um, assigned to this pointer, and therefore both of these pointers now po share the same space or point to the same space. Now, there are a number of issues with this uh, behavior. Number one, uh, this space is now leaked because we don't have access to this space anymore, right? So this space is a leaked memory. The other issue is that both of these objects now are not independent. They basically share this space. And the, uh, as a consequence, uh, when this object goes out of space, uh, out of scope and attempts to uh, clean up this space, it is going to remove this space. And then when later on this object goes out of scope and again wants to free the same space, but this space is already freed, right? And that's going to create the double free problem uh, where, which is going to cause our program to crash. Now let's see this in action. So that's what we have now. And let's just go ahead and compile uh, G++ main.cpp-o main. And if I just run this code, uh, this program, that's what we get. Uh, it says pointer being freed was not allocated. Okay. So that's the default behavior, shallow copying. Now, in order to modify this behavior, we need to overload the copy assignment operator. Uh, now, operator overloading is a whole new subject. Uh, we just need to understand quickly how this works in order to do the um, overloading of the copy assignment operator. Now, um, when we do something like this, A equals B, this basically translates to a member function call, a special member function call uh, on object A. So whatever is on the left-hand side, that is A, dot a special function called operator equal. So because this is an equal sign, that becomes operator equal. And as a parameter, the right hand side is passed to this function, right? So we get B. Now, if we would like to change the uh, assignment behavior, we need to implement this function. Um, so we already know where we're going to be implementing this function. It's we're going to be implementing it as a member function of the vector class because it's being invoked on a vector object. And we know what is it going to accept. It is going to accept a, um, a vector object as well. Uh, 
but we don't know yet what is it supposed to return. So let's just go ahead and uh, um, create that function. And because when we have not yet determined what we're going to be returning from this function, let's just assume that it's going to return void. Uh, I'm going to change this uh, in a second. So we know what is the name of this function. It's operator equal. And we know what is it going to take. So it is going to take as a parameter vector object and I'm going to call it right hand side. Now, uh, since I'm not supposed to be changing this object within this function, this is just a parameter that we're going to be copying from. It's a good idea to label it as const. And since, um, you know, if we do something like this, this is going to be call by value. And call by value is going to be involving making a copy of the object using the copy constructor. And by doing this, what we're basically doing is that we're consuming cycles. We're slowing down the performance of our program. We're not interested in creating a separate copy. So what we could do is just make, make it call by reference. Okay. So what are we going to do inside? Uh, inside this function. So let's see what we're going to do in this uh, inside this function. This is the desired behavior. So we again want to maintain that the two objects have uh, completely separate memories. They're independent uh, after the copy operation. However, we would like to uh, do a, a copy of these stack based variables, member variables, the size in this case. And uh, again, the, uh, the address here is just uh, for explanation. Uh, we also want to be copying these uh, values here uh, one by one. Um, one thing that we also want to do, we want to remove this space so that it doesn't get leaked. So uh, we, we would like to remove this space. And one might ask, why, weren't, why aren't we just reusing this space instead of deleting it and creating some, addition, some new space? We're going to be creating a new space because the sizes might not match, right? These two objects uh, initially had different sizes, so the size may not match. For that reason, we're going to just remove the uh, old space and create a new space with, the size, uh, with an appropriate size, okay? So that, that's what we want to do. We want to remove the space. So remove the old space. And then um, create new space. Um, obviously, we want to do the also uh, copy of the uh, uh, stack based variables. So copy stack based variables stack variables um, and then we want to copy the uh, elements these elements one by one okay so let's just go ahead so the first fourth step is deep copy oops sorry about that so the last step is deep copy So the copy. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this. So number one, let's just go ahead and uh, copy the size. So this arrow size equal right hand side dot size. Um, and then we are going to remove the current array, delete the current array for this object. So delete. Uh, it's an array, so I need to use these square brackets. Uh, delete this arrow uh, vec. Now create a new array, this arrow vec equals uh, new, the type is integer, and the space is this arrow, the size is this arrow size. Now, uh, this arrow size is equal to right hand side dot size because we made them equal here. So I could do either right hand side dot size or this arrow size. Both should work. 
and then we're going to be doing a uh, a loop integer i equals zero um, i is less than the size i uh, or plus plus i and then uh, uh, we're going to do this arrow vec of i equals the right hand side dot vec of i okay now there are some more improvements uh, that we want to do but for now this should actually remove this problem i'm going to come back to this and do some more improvements uh, in a second but let's just go ahead and compile and make sure that it doesn't crash anymore okay so it doesn't crash anymore maybe it's a good idea to write a quick statement here you know print statement to make sure that this function is being actually called or actually to demonstrate that this function is being called okay so that's end line so if i just go ahead and compile this function again this code again and run this as you can see the function is being called now um what happens if i want to do let's say i have a third object vector c uh, let's say this is like uh, 15 elements and i would like to do something like a equals b equals c and and we know that for the uh basic types uh in c plus plus we could do something like this you know if these were integers we definitely can do something like this now as you can see it's actually indicating that there is an error and if i just go ahead and compile again we get this error right so let's see what this error says so it says cannot convert argument of incomplete type void to constant vector for first argument so what does that say well what this is basically saying is ba is that uh just like we said here this translates to this function call so this part of this ex uh, expression translates to a function call and we made this function call return void right so now it, it becomes a equal void right that's that's not okay so how can we address this to address this issue we can make this function return a reference to the left hand side to the current object in this case b for example so how to do this we just go to this function and uh, make it return a vector reference again reference because we don't want to return a copy right copying would be uh, consuming cycles unnecessarily so uh, we return a reference to the current object and uh, uh, then we return because we would like to return the current object remember this pointer points to the current object if I want the current object I say star this okay so now I don't have an issue with uh, so this error basically goes away right so I can certainly do something like this and now as you can see well this first call uh, resulted from this assignment and then this second call resulted from this assignment and then this evaluated to B and now, now this is a equals B again so this is another uh, call to this function right so great what about if somebody does something like a equals b uh, i'm sorry a equals a now again in c plus plus there's nothing that could prevent us from doing something like this however in this case that's going to create some problems for us because we're you know we're not actually doing a copy but at the same time uh, we're removing the space and trying to copy from the space after removing that space so that's not okay what we're supposed to do really in this case is just return right away we're we're not you know there's no point of doing any copies here so in order to do this we need to make sure that you know do some sort of comparison to ensure that the left hand side is not the same as the right hand side if the left hand side is the same as the right hand side we don't want to do any copies so how to do this now to do this we can do if this that is a pointer to the current object which is going to be the left hand side if it is not the same as the address of the right hand side so I'm comparing the addresses of the two objects if the addresses are not the same then I want to do the copy okay um, 
otherwise, uh, just don't do any 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 copies. Just return. So let's just do some alignment here. All right. So if the left hand side is not the same as the right hand side, then let's do the copy. Otherwise, just go ahead and return. Now you might ask, why don't we just say something like f? You know, basically comparing the objects by saying something like f star this does not equal to the right hand side. Now the issue with this is that this is basically another operator, and it we have not defined, we have not overloaded this operator on this uh, uh, object on this class. So this is actually not provided already. Uh, so we cannot do something like this. We have not overloaded this operator. So uh, what we do uh, is basically compare the addresses instead of comparing the actual objects. Okay, so this actually gets us to the copy assignment operator. Uh, and I think that that's it. You know, I discussed all the relevant concepts. And I'll see you in the next video.